Welcome back. It's 641 and it's time for your Hawaii County updates. This is part of our news segment focusing on our neighbor island viewers, bringing you the news where you live. And joining me this morning to talk all things Hawaii County is Cyrus Johnson, public information officer for the county of Hawaii. Good morning, Cyrus. I know you have some important updates for Hawaii Island residents this morning, so take it away. Good morning, Leah, and aloha kakayaka e kaohana o Hawaii Island. Today, big news. Uh, one of the biggest things happening this week is that our County uh, Office of Housing and Community Development has announced that its emergency rental assistance program administered by the Hawaii Island-based nonprofits uh, will be, has begun winding down as of yesterday. That program uh, is funded by the U.S. Department of the Treasury and was stood up in March 2021. <clears throat> Since that time, the program has dispersed nearly $23 million successfully uh, in rent and utility assistance, helping more than 7,800 Hawaii Island children and adults <clears throat> prevent eviction, utility shutoffs, and homelessness. Uh, as funds become available, the county will again be working to develop a new rental and assistance uh, program uh, that will include connectivity to housing stability services, such as workforce development programs, financial empowerment services, community services and resources, and the development of a sustainable housing plan. In the meantime, if you do require housing funds, uh, we do ask that you visit our Hawaii County website, go to the Office of Housing and Community Development, and look for some of the other programs that we do have in place that are, will be longstanding, such as our financial empowerment centers and our coordination centers uh, for services and recommendations <clears throat> and referrals. Moving on, I know we've been talking a lot about YPO, but finally the county has released our timeline and construction plan for restoration of the roadway. Um, we released this last week, Wednesday, in the meeting that I brought up last week. And since then, <clears throat> we've been able to share that this study is going to take about three years to complete. And it'll be done in phases, prioritizing the most dangerous parts um, first and, and moving forward to the more uh, safe areas at this time. Each phase will take several months to complete and incorporate things such as clearing and trimming along the roadway, reestablishing roadside drainage ditches and diversion berms. Um, as well as installation of rock fall mesh, additional drainage, and road realignment. Um, you know, road closures will take place during this entire period, aside from the the road closures currently in place with the emergency proclamation. And you know, through that time, we're going to be working diligently, uh, particularly you know, with all our residents, but particularly the residents of the valley and the farmers, to ensure that we are. Um, you know, not uh, to ensure minimal disruption of the quality of life. Uh, again, you know, we're going to be hosting our Office of um, our County of Hawaii Civil Defense Administration and the Hawaii Volcanoes Observatory is going to be hosting another Mauna Loa Volcano update, except this time for the residents of Kona, particularly those in South Kona, this Saturday, November 5, at the Kona Waina Elementary Cafeteria from 12 to 2 o'clock p.m. Again, this meeting is not meant to, this meeting is just meant to inform residents of what's going on. It's about transparency and education. There is no uh, lava flow or any type of eruption imminent at this time, but we do believe that the best weapon that we have to make sure our community is safe is to provide educational tools and materials to keep everybody up to date and up to speed on what we know as we know it. Uh, and then lastly, the White Kaloa community. Uh, I know we've been talking a lot about <clears throat> the roadway out there and community plans. Well, this is another roadway meeting uh, that we're gonna be hosting. Our Department of Public Works will be out tomorrow November 3rd at the Waikoloa Elementary Cafeteria from 5.30 to 7 o'clock p.m. to talk about the new Waikoloa Roundabout. This is at the uh, intersection of Paneolo Avenue and Waikoloa Drive. And essentially what it's supposed to do is make the, um, the four-way stop that's currently there a lot safer and much more efficient for all the new traffic that's coming with the addition of Saddle Road, the population growth of Waikoloa, and the folks that use that road daily to traverse and get to and from work. Um, so, you know, we are asking the community to come out, um, learn about the project, and to voice and share your mana'o with us. That's all from Hawaii Island this week, Leah. And Cyrus, since we're just finished talking about the roundabout, I do have a question for that. Um, when, is, is this still in the planning phases, or do you guys already have a timeline for when that construction will start or be completed? Say that again, Leah, sorry. When? When will construction start and be completed on that roundabout? Or are you guys still in the planning phases? 
Um, it's still basically in the planning phase. I do think that they are going to be sharing some of the tentative timelines, but again, it's all up to community on that one. Okay, Cyrus, and I know we will have all of that information. We're going to put it up on our website. I know there's a few meetings that are happening in the next few days, so we're going to make sure everyone has that information. But thank you once again for joining us. Anytime. Hello, everybody.